Having Crash Bandicoot join Smash has been a dream of mine and many others for years now. And when I started seeing rumors floating around, I did get my hopes up a little bit. I know I shouldn't, it's just a rumor, but I have so much faith in this guy joining Smash. So a few months back, this rumor started gaining traction, mainly because it was from the person who predicted Byleth and nobody expected Byleth to come. Now, maybe it was just a lucky guess because they said Crash comes directly after the first challenger pack. And we now know this to be false because an arms representative is going to be next in line. Now I'm not gonna cover all the rumors for Crash coming because there is so many, but this person isn't necessarily 100% wrong. They did say that Crash is coming directly after Byleth, but maybe Nintendo switched him around last minute because they have been doing some pretty strange things recently, like bringing back Splatfest as a one-off, promoting ARMS, a game that hasn't been supported in a while, and they're promoting it with a free trial. Now maybe, maybe, they are utilizing this whole lockdown situation. A lot of people are indoors. They're gonna be playing video games a lot more. So they think, why don't we just try and promote these games such as Splatoon and ARMS again by giving out free trials, giving Splatfests another chance. I know it's a long shot, but it's a slight chance that they thought now is the perfect time to promote ARMS and get it some attention again. And we will switch it around so the ARMS character is coming next, which could have originally been Crash. Probably not the reason why, but hey, it's just something that crossed my mind. I do think Crash has got a big chance of getting him regardless. He is one of the biggest platforming legends. He is basically Sony's mascot. Even though he is an exclusive, when you think about Crash, you basically put him next to Sony. Not only that, but we got the Crash trilogy on Switch recently, and same with Crash Team Racing. So the relationship is there, and obviously years and years ago, we got a lot of Crash games on older Nintendo consoles. And one thing people seem to forget is that many years ago, this series came to a halt. And when they announced the trilogy was coming out on PS4 for the first time, people were hyped. So he has been on fire recently, and there are even rumors of a new game coming very soon. No, no, not that mobile game. I'm talking about a new Crash game that could be coming out as early as this year. We aren't here to discuss all the rumors about this new game. Maybe that's a title for another video. But are you thinking what I'm thinking? A new Crash game, possibly coming this year, what better way to promote this game? Add him to Smash, especially if this game is coming to Switch. If it dropped on Switch, so many people would buy this game just because he's in Smash. They think, oh, this new character. If they've never tried a Crash game before, they think, ah, we've got the trilogy on here, and then we've got this brand new game, so why not try it out? That is the best way to possibly promote your game if it is coming to a Nintendo system. People are saying Banjo-Kazooie is going to be taking the same route. They're going to remake the old game and bring it onto Switch. So many people are interested in Banjo now and all these new players who didn't play all the old games back in the day are going to want to try it out. Even if they don't bring out a new game, even if they just promote the trilogy, put it on sale and say, hey, we've got this Crash trilogy on Switch here, maybe try that out. It will sell so much, trust me. So many people will be interested in this series again purely just because he's in Smash. His moveset is easy. I mean, he, he could have his famous spin attack. He could have the crate jump as an OB or even a jet pack his body slam, the image here shows the rest. There is so much potential here, so much potential. And the fact that he isn't in the game yet confuses me. Maybe they were saving him for DLC because it would be an insane pick. So hopefully, hopefully we will get him in. I mean, don't get me started on all the music they could add, the stages. It would be absolutely amazing to finally see this guy in Smash. One day, boys, one day, I am confident we will get him in Smash. If it's not in this game, I'm pretty confident it'll be in another. He, he has to come one time. He, he's a legend, okay? He has to come. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below who else do you want to join Smash? I'm doing literally like an entire series where I cover every potential character that could join. I've already done Digimon, um, obviously Crash this time. I'm thinking of doing Rayman next. He is another perfect fit that would go so well next to Mario, Sonic, Crash. It would, it would be a perfect fit. And make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Nintendo content. And I will see you all in the next video.